in this country, we do not take our country seriously. There were Russians that came here and stole Nigerian crude oil. Alright? The Russian government, there's nothing they did not do. There's absolutely nothing they did not do to ensure that the people are not trying here. They applied every diplomatic force and effort. You know, these are criminals, thieves who stole our oil. Alright? Now, you know, so, I mean, they came to our soil and st stole our oil. I remember also, some years ago, I think it was Indonesia or somewhere, where a Briton committed a serious offense that there was going to be punished with capital punishment. Even the Queen of England went, you know, campaigned for, for, the, for, for the transfer of that person to, to Britain to come and serve a jail time. And this happens all over the world. Why should Nigeria, you know, release a Nigerian citizen committed, who committed an offense in Nigeria for which has been punished to, to, to Britain? What is the interest of Britain? Then let's, let's look at it. What is the social in the offense was not committed in the UK? The offense is, is committed against the people of this country you know, for which our laws have punished the man and he has served his time. Mm -hmm. So, why should it be you know when this same and uh, when countries like Britain mm -hmm. go out of their way to, uh, to, to ensure that their citizens that commit offenses in other lands are not punished, that you know that they will use every diplomatic effort to make sure that they are brought they are brought to britain you know to serve their punishment and all that well, why should we now select our own, our own person it doesn't make sense to me but i'm not aware whether they have actually made any demands okay. or not but, but if they have done so i don't see and even if nigeria refuses i don't see any problem with that i don't believe it exists it is totally it is not in the character of this person so to do I mean, you know, what will be, this president has shown that he's, he's a liberal democrat, he's very tolerant, he's extremely very magnanimous in his, uh, in his attitude to human opposition. So, you know, it is something that is, is, is not true, it cannot be true, it is totally out of character. We are used to, we are used to fabrications, lies and uh, even, you know, especially from the elite class. Everybody and, every, you know, many people have been doing everything possible to you know to misrepresent this administration to distort information and deliberately deliberately man align the president you know the only sin that president Gulo jonathan has committed in this nigeria is not lack of performance it's not that it's not lack of dedication to duty it's not lack of lack of commitment it is just that he won the presidential election in in uh, 2011 that there's no other offense